ericmothermother.com. Let's take a look at the Canadian market and it is for February 23rd, 2018. Let's take a look at what I'm looking at here. Now this video is probably going to be entitled Strange Lines. Now what I'm seeing here is there are two lines that are coming in play. Line number one is the previous RSI top side. So this was a resistance line. And actually we can see that this line was instrumental on hindsight for this breakout and a very good move to the upside. So we know that line was important for the market. So what we can do is extend that line and we see that it is coming to be back tested. I'll draw it like that. Keep in mind, previously we had come back to the line, the market held, which was that re-entry, uniform activity below the line back above it for that re-entry, uniform activity to the line and back above it for that re-entry. Pretty much very successful entry levels for a swing trade. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we've broken below the line. And of course, we know what happened after that. We have this huge drop, huge. We are coming back in essence to test that line. And let's say if you are looking to trade this short term, you start leaning to the idea that if this is confirmed as resistance day to day, then it means that more than likely we are going to test the daily closing low here or the intraday low as long as this line is confirmed as resistance. Now there is another line which is coming in play and this line connects recent lows on the RSI. We can draw the line from the lows here. It should look like that. Now you can see again this line is being back tested. It was the break here consistent with this price action lower and now we are coming back to back test it which also means that if the RSI is rejected on these two lines now that is confirmation of an impending move lower to test either the recent daily closing lows or the recent intraday lows. At the same time, we can see that if we can clear the two lines to the upside, that would be bullish and a reason to play the market for a bounce to the upside. What is interesting is all this coincides also with coming back to test the underside of the 200 day moving average. So we can see from the 200 day moving average also that if we can clear the 200 day moving average and move above it, that would be bullish short term. And if we are rejected and we stay below the 200 day moving average, it would be confirmation that we are poised for a pullback. And that is how we can use the charts to gauge whether we are going to be positioning ourselves bullish or bearish. So that lines and the 200 day moving average should be used or can be used as the next signal as to whether this is going to be a bullish swing trade opportunity or a bearish swing trade opportunity. By the time you watch this video, you're going to have seen what happened after I recorded this video and a good study as to what happens after the fact. Eric Mwadith, mother .com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see. S, yes. Mwah.